Hello YouTube, today I'm doing a video um, tutorial. This is just a video of me doing my daughter's um, jumbo box braids, the rubber band method for the very first time. This that you see in this video is everything that I needed to complete her hairstyle. I used the stretched spectra braid hair, it was pre-stretched. The reason I have so many packs is because it was on sale. I didn't use all of the packs, I probably used about two or less. So I have plenty more extra to go. And here you'll see I used the Cantu Argon Leave-In Conditioner so her hair wouldn't be so dry. I used the rubber bands here. And I have two different types of edge controls, comb, toothbrush, scissors to cut the hair. Everything you see here is all you'll need, okay? As you can see here, I've already washed and blown dry my daughter's hair. And I'm just going to section it off in two separate parts so I can begin to put the parts in her hair. And what I like to do is the, the brick layer method. So that way when I do add the braids to her hair that it looks as full as possible because these are going to be some really big jumbo braids. So you want to carefully try your best to part the hair as neatly as possible now I am NOT the best parter I'm working on it so these parts won't be perfect at all so try your best because the better the parts the better the whole style looks Okay, right here you see me with the vitamin E oil. I'm getting everything ready to do her hair and I'm going to pour some of this on the rubber bands. What that does is add a little bit of slip to them so it makes it to where it's not so damaging on the hair. I saw that in someone else's um, video. And I'm holding my newborn baby girl. So any extra noise you hear while I'm doing this voiceover, um, that's my baby girl. Okay, so I got my first part here. And what you wanna do is add a decent amount of moisturizer, comb out any little kinks to detangle it, and add your edge control. I put some on the back of my hand so I can have it handy, but I just eventually kept dipping inside of the jar because as the edge control dried on the back of my hand, my hand got itchy. My skin is pretty sensitive. So you could just keep dipping into the jar. It's up to you. I really like this Cantu leave-in conditioner. I got that from Target. Cantu makes pretty good products. So you just want to brush the hair out at like so. Like how you see me doing right here. Make sure it's nice and neat because it just helps with the overall presentation of the box braids so it took me kind of um, a little while to get started I just want to make sure everything was right my parts aren't perfect I'm working on that shout out to you people who are super superb parters kudos to you so what I'm going to do first is just rubber band and part everything the whole entire head and then I'll get started on the actual adding of the hair. Okay, I went ahead and sped this up because I'm pretty much doing the same thing here. I'm just trying my best to make sure my parts are as neat as possible and make sure that I'm applying moisturizer to each section of the hair. Just continue on with this process. And I believe at the end, I was able to get about 18 to 19 squares. And as you can see, I'm trying to do the brick layer where it's not just all lined up together. Oh, and that's what you need the toothbrush for. Earlier I mentioned you need a toothbrush. That's to help lay those edges. When you lay the edges, 
with the good edge control I think I use edge booster and then I also had um, even 24 hour hold I believe 48 hour hold it does give it a much better presentation so I'm just continuing to part it and I'm almost done with the parts I did see that some people do the brick layer squares in the back and when they get towards the front they do the triangle squares I think I will try that next time to have maybe more braids or to just part it differently in the front I think my parts in the front were a little big but I did want these to be big I didn't want it to be too small so I think the overall look came out decent enough for me for my first time so we're almost done here with the parting and the yes the pre parts so pretty soon I'll be adding the hair just stay tuned Okay, as you can see, I have completed putting all the parts and I tried to make it as neat as possible. Now from this point, I will be able to add the hair. Okay, again, that's the Spectra hair pre-stretched that I'm using here. And I think for my first braid, I may have had it too much hair in my hand. I didn't exactly know what method I was going to use attaching the hair. Like I said, this is my first time doing this. So I know there's other and better methods. I only know how to braid one type of way. I'm going to learn a different method. I've watched many videos and I see some people braid under. For some reason, the only way I can seem to braid is over. And I did cut out a lot. I tried this at least two or three times and had to redo it, this first braid. And um, I know I can make it a lot straighter, I guess, because it was like a little knotty. This is probably the best version of it that I did. I know these braids are slight struggly, but the way that worked the best for me was to spread the hair in two sections add in my daughter's hair then once her hair started coming to an end I'm not sure if you can see here once her hair started coming to an end and this hair was it was a little tangly I had to get used to it so if it tangles up for you just keep a comb or a brush and just keep straighten it out with the comb and the brush add some edge control so the real hair doesn't pop up so I can see my errors here but you know, we can learn together and, and get better. Practice makes perfect, you know? So I know it's a little on the struggly side, but I think the overall still came out um, pretty cute. So as you can see, I was up a couple rows by this point, and I did have one pack of um, like a mixture with just one B and pink. My daughter's favorite color is pink, and she wanted some color pop added, so I just put a hint of pink. I didn't want it to be too bright. You know, she is still a little girl. Um, so I have the little pink, as you can see there, and I'm just trying my best to keep this as straight and neat as possible. Um, I can see here that some braids are slightly, the braiding is just a little on the crooked side, but I think overall it's still pretty decent for my first time. And, uh oh, uh oh. And some of the braids may be a little bigger or smaller than the others. So, I guess my advice would be to try to use the same exact amount of hair that you're grabbing. So 
so as I look back at this video I can definitely see what errors I made so next time it should be a, a little better you know so I have my little three week old baby I'm holding here so excuse her beautiful little sounds she's making so what you saw me spray on the hair because it was getting a little puffy a little bit so I put on some um, John Frieda anti-frizz spray with the edge control just to make it a little more manageable when trying to get the hair to be braided within um, the spectra hair so that's what you see me spraying on there just in case you were wondering so you could just keep watching um, the hair did tangle up a little bit when I added the color hair to it so I just had to start over on this braid and just keep combing it out and eventually I was able to work it through I'm sure at some point right here if you can see right there I can't remember if I was eight or nine months pregnant in this video maybe eight and a half months you can see my big belly right there but yeah I'm still working my way through with the braids and just trying to make sure that they're staying as consistent as possible and for this style that I had in mind I it was never my intent for her to have these braids hanging down I'm just not really into all the long hair because this hair was about 16 inches long I'm not into long hair um, and this was the first time my daughter Royal has ever had any hair added on to her hair and I didn't want I just felt like that's too much for a five-year-old well she was five at the time of this video and a few weeks after this she turned six but anyway I think that's for me too young to have all this hair hanging so the style is going to be a bun so you'll see at the end how I eventually styled the braids but I thought this was a very nice style for a child um, almost finished here looks like I have about six more braids to go um, I'm trying to take my time again so they can just be as neat as possible and I think these ended up lasting about a good three weeks so this isn't bad you can get longer out of it I think if you have the braids smaller in the front because after a while you keep slicking the edges up in the morning with the edge control well that's when school was still open um, after a while it gets a little cake and you just take a warm towel and just wipe some of the edge control off and just re-slick it but after a while it gets built up a little bit in the braid so I did end up redoing just the front of her hair so she did end up having these in for probably about four weeks maybe five I don't know but I know it was at least three and a half to four weeks she had these braids in so that's really not bad at all it's a nice protective style just to try something different too especially now fast forward to now with it being quarantine you definitely might want to try to do something on your own to your child's head since everything is on lockdown and shut down so this is a great idea for that as well um, so you can see how the braids come down past like the middle of her back they are a little inconsistent. I see they're a little thicker towards the top and skinnier towards the end. Um, I'm definitely open to any constructive criticism, but any rudeness, you will be blocked. Blocked. So, yes, any constructive criticism um, is fine. Any advice, it's welcome. Okay, here's the finished product here. It's very neat, I think. And it's about 18 to 19 braids. And here I am shaking up the mousse so I can apply it on to her hair. 
The reason you want to add mousse is because of the flyaways. This just helps lock things into place and just to give it that extra hold. So you want to put the mousse on the braids to reduce the flyaways and to help with the hold. Put the mousse all over the braids, especially at the top. Just like so. As I'm applying the mousse, I have the pot of hot boiling water on the stove getting ready so we can dip the braids into hot water. The reason you want to dip the braids in a boiling pot of hot water carefully, please be careful doing this. This is going to make sure that your braids don't unravel. I braided down as far as I could. Shout out to you professional braiders. I don't know how your fingers can do it. But you see, I got down as far as I could. You wanna make sure you have a towel and be safe about it. And I put the braids down into the pot just for a few, maybe about a minute, two minutes. I'm not sure, but I held them in there. And that also helps to loosen up um, the hair as well. So you just let that soak in there just like so. When you pull them out, make sure you dry them very well because the braids are going to be extremely hot. You don't want to get burned. You don't want to burn the person's hair that you are working on. Okay, and here is the length of the braids. I know before I said the hair was 16 inches, it's actually 20 inches long. So you see how long that is. And it just relaxes the braids when you put the hot water on. Again, like I said, it helps them from unraveling. The hair is quite long. Now what I'm going to do, I'm adding, applying oil to her scalp. So her scalp won't be dry. So you just want to take some oil, take some grease, whatever your favorite oil is, just moisturize the scalp. It just makes sense to do so. Now here, this is completely optional. I am adding some of the little hair decoration in pink because that is her favorite color. So I'm just adding some of the hair decoration. And then um, in the scene after this, you'll see me adding some of those little silver or gold crown. Uh, metal pieces to her hair just a little hair jewelry just to jazz it up just a bit so you can do that as well and here you see I'm showing you the little silver spiral hair decoration metal pieces I'm adding to her hair. The braids are pretty big towards the top, but I was able to fit some of these towards the middle or maybe to closer to the bottom of the braids. Okay, so you can add any type of decoration or shells or whatever you like. Okay, here I am pretty much finished right inside of this video. I will show you the actual style right here. Bam, that's my baby. She was feeling herself. You couldn't tell her nothing with her little Dollar Tree lipstick on. Spin form, honey. You see how the braids were nice and loose in her bun. I didn't have it all tight. I had some braids down in the back just to complete the style. She was very happy with it. Like I said, it did last about three to four weeks. I don't like when a style starts to get old, but this was a very cute, I think it was very child appropriate and it was fun. So I think you should go ahead and give it a try. This was pretty decent for the non-braiders, the non-braiders like me, honey. So you can give this a try and you know, let me know how it work out for you. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And I have a couple more pictures of her in her cute little braids. Again, it was about 19 to 20 braids. Thank you for watching. Bye.